Quran says, remind people of Allah's days, and of Allah's days or nights, which could be the most valuable one than Laylatul Qadr. In fact, seeking Laylatul Qadr and taking advantage of it is such a big deal that Allah actually dedicated an entire surah just to it. Some of the meanings of the word Qadr are decree, honor, calculation, limit, value, and congestion. So it might make you think, what does congestion have to do here? تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرُ The commands Allah has written for us, entailing His love and mercy for the course of the year, is executed by the angels. By Allah's permission, the angels descend, including the special guest Jibreel himself and his entire team who brought down the Qur'an. There'll be more angels than pebbles on the earth, and so the night is congested with angels. Jibreel instructs the angels to enter every single home where people are worshipping and praising Allah, make dua for them, embrace them and give them salam. They are doing this all night long until the morning light appears and all the angels gather to Jibreel. From there, they ascend to the sky without leaving this dunya and suspend themselves between the sky and the earth until the sun rises. After the sun rises, the angels go back to the sky. The existing angels on the first sky see them coming and ask, How was Laylat al-Qadr? Who was praying? Jibreel and other angels mention and praise every single name who was worshipping. This repeats in each level of heaven until they finally report to Allah. So let's seek out for this night until the last night of Ramadan as it constantly moves every year. If you've had a rough Ramadan, didn't do very well, then this is a chance to make up for it. And as we've entered these nights, let our tears not dry up to mention our brothers and sisters at Al-Aqsa, Syria, India and other places we see and do not see. They need our duas, especially when our oppressors are belligerent during Ramadan. Remember that angels are saying Ameen to every dua we make. We ask Allah to protect us from being those that are deprived from the blessings of this night and month and allow us to observe Laylatul Qadr in full and grasp it. Jazakumullahu khair.